Hi everybody, welcome to the second video in our series around how to create charts in Access. So in the first video, we uh, created this chart. It, it represents what each student got in Lab 1, Lab 2, and Lab 3, but it doesn't communicate very well. Look at this. This says Series 1, 2, and 3. This really should be saying Lab 1, Lab 2, Lab 3. And there are no names down here, and there's no title on our chart. There's no names uh, on this, this axis. We don't really know what this axis over here even is. So there's lots that we need to fix with this chart. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the series. So there are a couple of ways that, uh, that we can do this, but one of the easiest is just to move your mouse in, right mouse click, and what will pop up is a, a drop down, and you'll go to Select Data. And in Select Data, click on Series 1, you'll see it there, click Edit, and then you can change the name. I'll change that to Lab 1, and I'll do the same thing in Series 2, and change it to Lab 2, and the same thing here. And now our, our series have changed to something reasonably named. Our next problem to attack is this one down here. These should be student names. But where are my student names? Well, they're up here in these two columns. So I've got to get them from here. I've got to get information from here to replace these numbers. And the way we do it is here with the horizontal axis labels. I'll click on Edit, and I'll be given this uh, axis label range. So I can go and select a range of data that I want to represent uh, names down here. So I'll click on this, just move that out of the way, and then over here, and I'm simply going to click and drag down around the first name and the last name of the students. Click that and say OK, and I'll say OK again, and we're on our way. Still lots of work to do, but we're getting there. So now, I'm going to make this chart a little bit bigger, just so that we can see it. No? Okay, so we still have some issues with uh, these names down here. Let's try a different design for this chart. And the way that we can do that is simply click here on Design. And there are a, a, a whole number of different design layouts that you can select. I am going to go with this one here. And, yep, it pops in a place for chart title, and it's moved this key down to the bottom, and it's beginning to look not too bad. I've got one more thing I want to do here. I don't like the size of these this key. I think it's too small. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to increase the font size. And I'll pick 16. That's looking a lot better. And I could go in here and I could change the chart title. So I could say this lab marks for all students in the class. Something like that. We still have some work to do on this axis over here, but that we'll take care of in the next video.